Hey, what's going on guys? Coach Clayton with Upper Class Sports back here with another video for you. In today's video, I'm breaking down a college client of mine. He's dealing with a little bit of shoulder pain. So I wanted to go ahead and jump in here and see if we can figure out what might be the root cause of that. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, hey Chuck. Hey, I was looking through this video and um, I wanted to compare you to Max Scherzer for a second because I think you guys do a lot of things that are very similar, but there's something that he does along with a bunch of other big leaguers. I was kind of looking through clips and they all do the same thing and it's something that you don't do. And I think it's what's contributing to your shoulder pain that you've got in your back shoulder on the back side where you were showing it to me. And um, I think that if you clean this up, it's going to make a huge difference. So what I wanted to show you is let's get you guys both at the leg lift here. So you guys are both about the same spot, getting ready to break. So here's what I see. So we get to, let's get to where your arm is up. Bam, about right there. Let's get Scherzer to that same spot, right? Now here's the difference. So look at Scherzer where he is when his arm gets to this L shape. And look at you when your arm gets to this L shape. The difference is Scherzer's foot is down. Your foot is still in the air. Okay, so this is huge. All right, so he has his front foot all the way planted now, and he is at that arm raise. Now look at the difference. So right here, Boom, foot to the ground, fully planted, and look at that little action he's got going there, right? That's when his front shoulder is getting ready to open up, right? So if you look at his hips, his hips are closed, or sorry, his hips are open, his shoulders are closed, right? And so from here, bam, that motion right there. See how he's getting ready to then whip and pull his arm through, versus where you're at, your arm's here, and now you're just pushing the ball through. That right there is putting a lot of tension right there. And so that is what I believe is causing that pain right here in that back part of your shoulder, like you were talking about. And it's also going to hinder your velocity output we want to make sure that, like I said, looking at Scherzer here, boom, that right there, and then he's going to pull his arm through. See how he pulls his arm through versus you going and going pushing your arm through? Huge, huge difference. So what this is going to do then too is you're not able to get out in front like he is, boom, at release, Right? you're getting right about at your head. And I know this angle kind of sucks for you. I, I wish I got a side angle, but this is, look at your arm is still bent back and the next frame is when you release. So if your arm is bent back, that's telling me that you are releasing by your head. And so that is really gonna hinder some velocity. Now, some things you do good is, look at your spine angle, looks pretty good. You got a good spine angle. And your hip shoulder separation is actually pretty decent. It's not that it's not that bad. You look here, your hips, your hips are open, which is great. And your shoulders are pretty closed. So you've got good hip shoulder separation, but that early hand raise is what's really killing the velocity. It's killing the late movement. It's killing the tunneling. And it is then putting that tension and stress on this part of your shoulder on the back side because you are now pushing the ball through. And so if we can clean this up, it is going to up the velocity. It should take the pain out of your arm, the back side of your arm, and it should create some late life in your ball. So some things that you can do is break your hands later. So you're breaking your hands as your legs go in as just as your knee, so your peak leg lift, you're about right there. That's your peak leg lift. From your peak leg lift, it looks like you're already starting to separate even before you get all the way to the top. So boom, to the top, we're starting to separate, and now we're starting to come down. I would think about maybe breaking your hands about here, starting your break, because then that's going to put you on time, 
right? And if we can get on time with that handbrake, now you're gonna get to the spot where you're at foot strike and you're just getting ready to pull that arm through. So you'll be like at this angle, getting ready to then pull that arm through into this angle, right? So we want to we want to do that. I, I I would suggest doing a, a late handbrake, break your hands just a hair later. Get on time with that hand, so then we can pull the arm through versus push the arm through. Huge difference between pushing and pulling. Pulling is going to create that life in your ball. Pushing is going to essentially slow you down. So we want to create that leverage. We want to create that pull as we come through. And I think if we can do that, you are going to see a huge difference in your pitching. I right, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys found this video helpful, please go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. And if you guys like this style of video, these type of breakdowns, go ahead and leave a comment below and let me know. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on those bell notifications so that way you guys are notified every single time we drop a video. Thanks guys and we'll see you real soon.